Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy VIII Remastered where with a load of side quests done in the last few episodes, in the last session we now continue onwards towards the end game with still a few more side quests still to do because of course we defeated Bahamut and added him to our powerful GF ranks so we now have two spaces to fill and both of those are fairly easy to fill with a little bit of grinding I've done across the world to get items, equipment, all across the place. So, without further ado, let's not do that right away, because we're here, back in delay. Because I won back basically all the cards from the Queen of Cards quest, which are basically winnable back. So if you can serve, lovely stuff, we've got Alexander back and all that, which are basically winnable back from uh, Kiddo right here. This is... The child of the Queen of Cards. This is her son. We just bullied him for my cards back and yay! Five more got all the cards back. Yay! So this is where you get those cards back afterwards. So I thought I'd share that as well. Also, there is actually an ongoing side quest in this section as well, a tiny little one, regarding this painting here. Because we've got an item from painting before, but the painting actually changes. So we've got to find where those white bones are. So let's do that! We know this place, do we? I have no clue where that place is. We'll never be able to find it. So that spider in the top again. Spider cat. So it'll be somewhere around here. We just talked to the dog, right? Yeah. Well, there's something underneath. Yeah, look. Get a mega potion. Thanks, doggo. Just gonna say anything more, doggo? Just gonna bark again. So weirdly, there's like this little extra little side quest here. It's a very hard puzzle. It's very hard to figure out. But if I go back in here. Yeah. That's another one. Not again. I've won so many times, that boy. Next time he pulls his spring, I'm going to coochie coochie coo his ribs. So that's literally just outside the door. It's my bone, right? Oh, I know this place. It's literally just here. <laughs> Hi, doggo. There's something underneath. Look. We've seen an elixir. I wonder if he's feeling sorry. Randomest little quest ever. So that's the Queen of Cards dad and the Queen of Cards son. Hey, I told you I said you're tickling hell if I catch you being bad. But, but Grandpa, you're always painting. I'm bored. You never played me, but you played with girls. Why? Th that's because you're always doing bad things. Now you've done it, you're going straight to tickling hell. <laughs> Wait. You're doing bad things, so I'm going to see women. I couldn't fight off the coochie coochie coo to my ribs, so I'm through with my pranks now. But I was able to voice my opinion. I feel much better about myself. I think I've grown up a little. There's nothing here. No, the painting's gone. Perhaps I should have played with him more often. I'm too old for sports. Poker? Hmm. Poker. Hmm. Random coochie coochie coo in on that kid. It's such the smallest little side quest ever. But it's still there, right? So with that said and done, let's head out of delay using the power of meow. Who loves super speed? I love super speed. Right, so outside of delay, there are those GFs to get still. One requires us to go deeper where we fought Bahamut, but the other is Doom Train. We have the card for it, so it's not exactly a big reveal or anything. But Doom Train was one of those summons that I'd like to say is just really weird. It's one of those things that you would never find without a, without a guide or without being told somewhere on the internet back in the day. So the official strategy guides, if you remember, back in the day existed. So let's find the Solomon's Ring here. That is the main thing. The Solomon's Ring is the main thing, which you can only find for a limited time at uh, the place where the Lunar Cry happens. I can't remember the name of the place now, because I'm really good at this stuff. But you also need free items. Now, there is an occult fans magazines that I managed to actually miss and were permanently missable. Occult fan three and four. They are the ones that hint at Doom Train existing. However, the clues they give are incredibly terrible. So, the first clue that it gives is that you need 666 items to get it. I mean, okay, cool. What does that really mean? And the second clue that it gives is, you, is that people that were attacked by this unidentified flying doom train thing 
we're carrying high quality uh, status recovery medicine. So that one's a bit more nearer the point, but still is a bit bonkers. It really is. So that doesn't tell you what the other items are. So it tells you basically what one are and that you need 666 six, 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 six of what? So I, I imagine, of course, people found out via guys, etc. Rather than had to farm six of every single item in the game to try and figure out what the 666 six, six items are. But the 666 six, six items, three items, six of each, are... Well, can I find them in my list now? This is the question. They'll be everywhere. Where are the pipes? I could just tell you. It's a lot easier. Six steel pipes from Wendigos. Six marble tentacles from Marlboros, which I have managed to go and farm myself eight. We will go fight one in a second to see if we can get some more extra goodies here. Because we need marble tentacles for other things as well, including weapons and to teach Quistus a blue magic, bad breath. So that is a thing as well. We're going to give Quistus a very bad breath very shortly. But the other thing is six remedy pluses, the high quality items. So we're going to use an ability here, cool shop. Uh, any shop should be fine, S for shop, but with the exclamation mark should be fine. So I need to buy at least 60 remedies. 45k down the drain, brilliant. But you need also Alexander's med level up ability to make these things. Because you need 10 per one to go into Remedy Pluses. So now I have six Remedy Pluses. I have six Marlboro Tentacles. And I have six Steel Pipes. With that, you just use the Solomon's Ring. And another GF is yours. It's one of those things that you'd never find out without a guide. There's no other way. Unless you were to farm six of every stupid single item. It's just... Just... Mental. It's one of them. From back in the day. One of them. You call upon me. I am the Doom Train. So we will confirm its name. I shall become your ally. It is our ally now. So GF Doom Train now exists, filling in the slot over here, level 28 currently. It has an interesting attack, which basically you can name it, yes, which can actually just inflict every status element in the game on an enemy, which is pretty good. It can also make forbidden medicine from an item, whatever that is. So that's a thing too. But also it comes with element defense junction times four and status defense junction times four, which status defense junction times four is pretty damn hot, you've got to say. So just with that, you can, just with Doom Train alone, you can cover everyone's stuff. So you really, really, really do want that. That's, that's status defense junction especially. And then defense junction is pretty damn good as well. But you kind of want to like grind them out with some cactors and get them up as well. So, Doom Train has been summoned. What else is there to do, you say? Well, let's get back on the Ragnarok. And I'm actually going to pop into the cockpit for a second here. And switch our characters if I can. Which is not going to be that easy to. So I need to hit save point. Yeah, I can check to Doom Train in a second. He's not actually supplying anything just yet. Other things first, God. I know I'm not going to battle for a while. God. I just gotta find the save point again, which is in the room where we fought the thing in the Bobby. So impatient. Trust the process. Trust the process. It's amazing the selfie just picked up the sticks on that and just flew off. It's just like completely fine. Score it. This brain only has limited space for certain memories here. I want to get Renault in. She's got significantly less HP, but she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Let's use a high potion. <laughs> I'll heal her up with just potions. It's much easier to use the curers that are hanging around on characters now that don't need to be junctioned by anyone. So Renault was added to the party. Life is good there. And the person without stat junction at the moment will be actually Renoa. So if we junction Doom Train to her, we'd have to grind a little bit of cactuses to get there. But in the end, we would end up with four here and four there, which would make it. It's just an incredibly good thing. Just put let's just put it that way. It's incredibly good to get. And of course, levels of our characters now don't necessarily matter much except 
for the uh, kind of like the levels of our opponents. Let's put it that way. So where to next? I'm going to go to Esfer. Because I have farmed the materials for the ultimate weapons as well since last time. Let's just do a quick flyby so I can give you some certain locations for certain things that are important here. Pulse ammo is required for scroll, which requires uh, certain energy things, energy fragments or whatever it is. They come from the El Noil that I showed you in Esfer around this disc. Apart from that, there are like all these dragon parts like dragon skin and dragon fangs. They come from blue dragons, which are just over here above Talibia Garden. In this forest right here. So you can just hunt here for a little bit. You get blue dragons. You could mug them for fury fragments, which is one of the things you need, and kill them for the other two things, which are both dragon parts. So that's done and done. And a mantines. Let me just speed it up. Can be mugged from adamantoises, which were on this island right here on the beaches. So very easy to find as well. And I think that's, to be honest, pretty much all the weird enemies that you need to find anything from for any of the stuff you go on. Because the moonstones that you need come from the El Noil as well. Uh, what else is there? Thinking, thinking. There's a force amulet. I'll show you where the force amulet comes from. You do need that for one of the things. And that, if I use the speedy up thing, is an S on top of that. So I think I'll null encounters for the time being. And go to S for shot. Wow! Super speed. That guy's just chilling over there. But one of the occult fan, occult fan three was found, or occult camp four was found in here before everything went to crap. Tornado. It's got a free, free tornadoes. All right, so we're on the shops here. I think it is the, uh, not the junk shop, it's the pet shop. You can buy the force armlet that you also need for one of the other weapons on top of that. So that's, that's there. That's a thing. So that's basically where you get all the things. The other thing is a Marlboro. We'll go and fight one of them in a second. But first of all, I want to get the fruits of my labor. The fruits of my labor, for I have made. I've got the stuff required. Apart from, I seem to have not actually refined the pulse ammo yet. Damn it! I've got the energy fragments, but I don't have the pulse ammo. Goodbye. Have a nice journey. I'm sure there's just chaos going on this town with monsters attacking everywhere. It's fine. Not tool. Ammo. Where is it? Poison powder. Bomb fragment. Sharp. Eh, eh, eh. We'll find two energy crystals. That makes 20 pulse ammo. Which are Irvin's best ammo for his limit break as well. Let me shop! I come bearing wishes to shop. So come to me. We're having a sale. So we can now make Squall's ultimate weapon, the Lionheart, which is actually so close to capping out his strength, like a couple of levels, and he'll just cap it out at this point. But that unlocks every single limit break that he has available to us. I think at this point we had the Flame Saver, did it? Is it Cut and Trigger or Flame Saver we've got? I think it's the Flame Saver. No, it's not. It's the Cut and Trigger. So we're down here on the tier list. But we're now skipping all the way up to the final tier. So that is cool. Zells requires... Adamantine, again, I told you where the tortoises are, dragon skin, I told you where the dragons are, and the fury fragment, which is from the same blue dragon in that forest in Trebia. To make Urk Heights. Irvin's Exeter requires dino bones, of course, T Rexors, moonstones from the El Noils, star fragments, which we just got during the playthrough anyway, and I can't even remember where it was, I didn't have to farm them, we just got them, because quite a lot of the stuff here we just got from playing. And screws, which we have an absolute ton of. And we could refine even more if we want to. So that's Irvin's Exeter. Quisis to save the queen requires sharp spikes from, of course, like, we got them during the playthrough. Energy crystals from the Elm Oil, Marlborough tentacles again from Marlboroughs. But she needs more than one because she needs another one for actual limit break as well. But save the queen is obtained. Marlborough tentacles, the horrible, horrible things. The thing is, hunting a Marlborough takes a while itself just to actually 
make it spawn. The shooting star, windmills from the abyss worms of the desert, we've got them then. We basically mugged them without any issue. The force armament from the shop here, energy crystals again from the Elden Oil. Regen rings we were just mugging everywhere. I think it was from the horses. But a shooting star. And selfie, strange vision. Adamantine, adamantoid, star fragments. I have no clue. Curse spikes, trifaces. We, of course, mugged them or got them while we were fighting in Galbadia Garden. So that's everyone's ultimate weapon done. The, the standout ultimate weapon of this is not just the Lionheart for getting all scores limit breaks. Of course, that's ridiculously good. Strange Vision, though. That's a standout. Because if you notice on the accuracy, the hit on every other weapon, including the other ultimate weapons, they do not have the same modifier that Scrolls does, which is 255%, which is like the almost certain chance to hit percent. Strange Vision has that power. So Selfie also is now able to like hit to the same hit rate as Squall without any issue whatsoever. So that's pretty good. There's one last thing here, and I know I can open this door. I think you just have to keep bugging Cheryl until Cheryl opens the blooming shop, right? So I was right with that. I just probably didn't persist enough. Cheryl, open your blooming shop. <laughs> Cheryl! Cheryl! She does open it. This is a thing. Here you go, see? Received a Rosetta Stone. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl! She's had enough of me, so she gave me a gift. It's a bribe. So Cheryl has given me a Rosetta Stone, which has now filled the slot of the ring, so it won't be at the end here. Where is Rosetta Stone? Actually, no, the pet name tag filled that spot. Oh god, where's the Rosetta Stone gone? <laughs> oh no! Rosetta Stone. GF learns ability times four abilities. We've got multiple GFs with three abilities now. So that GF, Squall has four because of Bahamut. And three again on Zell. So we can basically modify GF to have four slots instead of three slots now. And I can now learn all languages. That's true as well. So there's some more goodies for you. Some more little side extras. The Rosetta Stone is, of course, a good pick because an extra ability is... I mean, for example, all of a sudden I go... One character go... I just lost sea level. Goes from 4,291 HP, but then puts on an HP junction thing and or an HP up thing and then goes to 9,999 HP. That's how good a fourth ability slot is, if you haven't got the other things for it. It's pretty good. So, there's that done. So we've done Doom Train, we've done Ultimate Weapons. And more. Let's go with our fast speed. Oh, I love this feature. <laughs> Over to here. You want me to fight uh, Marlboro, do you? You want to see it in the flesh? Well, sure. We'll see it in the flesh. I'm saving after doing all that stuff first, though, right? Just in case the absolute worst case happens. Of course, the other alternate way to get Marlboro Tentacles... Stupid horses! I'm running. Screw you, horses. I'm out of here. Yo, I knew that was going to happen! He shows up like every few battles now. He's so got a ridiculous rate. Oh yeah, I won't bother getting the experience from this fight. Aaron is like, oh, you don't want to fight him then, I'll do it. And you can get tentacles from the card game. That is the easiest way to get them. Because it's only four Marlboro cards and you get them quite regularly from certain guys. Per tentacle, which still equals quite a few cards for, like, technically you need nine tentacles. Six for Doom Train, two for Save the Queen, and one for Christmas Liberty. You need, you know, 36 cards. But that's not hard to get. Ah, there we go. Here's our friend, Marlboro. He's definitely not going to use bad breath right away. Wow, 9099. This is where I accidentally kill him. So I'm trying to mug him here. Wow, the thing is I went through a serious streak of attack fighting the Marlboros as well, where I'd get first mug in, first attack, and I would always steal on the very first attack. There we go. 
It's all two marble tentacles, so we can literally run now and not fight the, the really evil big thing that does this. And now every status effect that isn't guarded against is now afflicted with me. So Zell hasn't been confused, but Skull has. Remembering a physical attack actually saved them. However, the Marlboro has some lovely attacks. Some lovely attacks. So Renoa's back up and she's going to attack one of us, probably. Herself. She missed. Great. She's, she's blind after all. She's getting up to attack herself again. Miss again. Oh, she actually hit the Marlboro for 6k because she's berserked. Okay, Renoa's just going to die. I think I can actually run now, though, so that's just generally how you do it. There's no real point to fight them at that juncture. Just mug the Marlboro Tentacles, leg it with your ill-gotten gauge. You still get experience for doing damage to the team. Now, there is multiple other strategies to just take them out. For example, you can take Quissus in the battle at low HP, use a Limit Breaker Generator. It's a one-hit KO. There's stuff like that if you want to kill them for items. There's other options as well. But, you know, you could just go in there with Squall with Renzo Kukin, and then you'd probably end up killing him. But that's a Marlboro wrecking my face. Because that's what Marlboros do. They just kind of wreck you. So I kind of want Doom Train now to get a status junction. It's going to be a while to get that. Should we engage in another annoying quest line, or at least try to? Probably the only other quest line with a somewhat semi good reward left. In our final clear up here. Oh, the weapons got Marlborough Fort check. I've never done this side quest before. I have kind of the steps going on, but we're going to have to work things out apart from that. <laughs> so this could be hell, this could be fun, I don't know. We'll find now. Now I supposedly need to go to... I need to find a place called Oba Lake. I think it's near Windhill, but it might actually be somewhere else. It's not here. Where's Oba Lake? I will find it. Oh, this quest. Have you done this quest too? This could be infuriating. I was actually counting this quest in my... Oh, here we are. We're here. This is over late. Alright, there's actually a secret quest here. For those who are very curious and just press A across the entire map. You did this for the first time in your most recent playthrough? I mean, it's one of those things that, again... Is there anything that kind of slightly hints you at this? What happens to that train then? Oh, it stopped at the station. I don't know. So we're going to here, and then we can press A, and there's a prompt. So we want to hum. Black Shadow rose to the surface, we hum again. Hello human, what a lovely tune. There's something large there. Thanks for speaking to me again. Can you do me a favour? What is it? It's my friend, Mr. Monkey. Can you find him for me? Please. So we got to find Mr. Monkey now. Mr. Monkey should be in a forest somewhere. Keep walking around, I'm sure you'll find him. Mr. Monkey should be in a forest. Sure. If he's not around, perhaps he took a train towards the lake? He's giving you hints. It's giving me hints. So now I think what I've got to do is I've got to throw a rock till a certain random phrase comes up. The rock skipped five times. The rock skipped five times. This is why I'm definitely following a guy for this one. The rock skipped twice. The rock sank. The rock skipped four times. The rock skipped once. The rock skipped three times. Yeah, the thing is, I, I got it. Ah, the rock skipped many, many times! Right, we got the prompt, finally. I mean, that wasn't long, that was like two or three minutes. So now we have to go to delay. And run around this forest. There's a monkey, but now we throw a rock at it. Ah, darn it! You're just a big loser. I'm gonna skip the rock as many times as I want. So there, ha! Loser, dog, idiot, your mum wears combat boots. Monkey told you often disappeared in the forest. Is that what I needed to do?
Or did I have to get a different prompt? Before I speak to uh, the, the Sano again, please tell me that I'm correct there. That that's all I needed to do, right? All I had to do is throw the rock at the monkey, he has a go at me, and then I go back to Mr. Shadow, right? All I've got to do. I'll just save just in case. I'm humming again. A black shadow is the service. Hello! Relate the whereabouts of Mr. Monkey. We're good. We're good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? Take a break at the railroad bridge. I wonder what it means. So now it gives us multiple clues. Take a break at the railroad bridge. I wonder what it means. What a beautiful day. A beautiful day. Oh, yeah. At the beach in Balham, something special washes at short times. So, beach in Balham. So, we can get different prompts here for kind of different stuff. Take some time off at El Beak Peninsula. I bet it's a wonderful place. You'll find something on the island east of Imba Timber 2. So, we got that prompt as well. El Beak Peninsula. Take a break at the railroad bridge. There are more prompts, I'm pretty sure. But maybe we actually have to do certain things. Maybe we have to do these first and then come back to them. But there is just random prompts. There's also something on top of a mountain with a lake and cavern. See, that's such vague! So vague! Right, so let's go to the island east of Timber, which will literally be just here. And start pressing the A button. And hope to find something. You found a piece of rock by your foot. It looks man-made and has some carving on it. So then it gives you some text. <laughs> I'm gonna open up a notepad file over here, and I'm gonna write this down. <laughs> Re I A I D R. Which is brilliant, right? Is this part of something? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> so that's a thing, too. So now I get a kind of weird clue. So let's go to the beach in Balham. Which is really easy to get because there's only one beach in Balham, it's right here. This is where people would do, like, early AP grinding. You had a piece of rock by your foot, but it was just a rock. <laughs> Screw you. Screw you, rocks. They're all just rocks. I just gotta keep pressing buttons until I get the right thing. They're all just rocks. They're all just ro Oi! It's always going to be pebbles on the seashore. So do I have to RNG this out now? They're all just rocks, man. They're all just rocks. It looks man made and has some carbon on it. We found one. S T S L R M. S T S L R M. Seems like the same rock I picked up before. So this is an uh, interesting quest line. So I think El Beak Peninsula is up over here. This is El Beak Peninsula. Why did I think Peninsula was on a mountain? All right, so let's run slowly and start spamming A again. Intern smashing his keyboard randomly, programming this quest. There's a stone pillar. You look closely, there's something written on it. Tonight, time as sure at time of the season. <laughs> yes! The time as sure at min of diesel. Is that what you want? Now this one, as I understand it, is actually a... Uh, <laughs> didn't know you spoke German? Yeah, I can. 
is actually a riddle. <laughs> and it's really weird. I'm just waiting for anyone who uh, hasn't done this quest. Can you see what this actually is? Or is this way too vague? Because I think this is way too vague. So I'm giving you a little bit of time here before I explain it. But supposedly, supposedly because the clue that you got over here, you had to take time off at El Peak Peninsula. You take the words time off there. So if you just, you know, take time off and then I'm going to paste that in chat. So you end up with like treasure at it's like something aisle. Mind aisle. <laughs> so that's a thing. It's like, uh, but where's Mind Isle? <laughs> so it's just kinda like one of those things where you go Okay. Now, Mind Isle is actually over here, so let's boost the speed! So there's an island called Mind Isle, but it's treasure at Mind Isle. Which is an island between here and there, which is right here. If I'm right to saying, that one here. So this should be Mind Isle. It's such a weird quest, but there's a treasure here. So now let's go scout the entire thing! With the power of speed up! I hope that I haven't part the Ragnarok. <laughs> That's the really weird thing. That's the truly worrying thing. Did I park Ragnarok on the treasure? That'd be hilarious. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I did. Found a luck junction scroll. <laughs> I parked it on the Fleming treasure. <laughs> so now we got an extra luck junction scroll, which is not bad considering the fact that our junctions at the moment only have one luck junction missing. So we can get that. One. So we have the treasure at Mind Island. Right. So we have two codes. Shall I return to the the guy at this point? And see which of the other places. We have two codes. That's not too bad. We have to break at railway tunnel. Oh yeah, there's also something on top of a mountain with a lake and a cavern. What the hell is that? <laughs> so the codes that we've already got get set again. So we get the code saved there. Elbeek Peninsula. We took time off there. So it seems like I need to go to the island with the lake of the trip, the cabin. But there's also the break at the railway bridge. I can't remember there being a single actual cabin. Uh, there's water just like here, etc. So probably this one then, I guess. Quick, run faster. I'm going to walk all the way to this side. And then we'll find nothing. <laughs> Spamming the A button. Is it right on the edge? Ah! A bird is warming an egg! Finally, I found the thing. Let's check it out. Yikes. Again, it's one of those quest lines where it's like, how did anyone figure this stuff out? It really is! Hey, well, bird. You actually have. Oh, you have tornado! Mm. Squall needs tornado. You've got junction tornado. How did you start getting tornadoes, guys? Oh, I like these guys. They're gonna give me tornadoes. I can have all the tornadoes I ever want. Oh, never mind. Good job, Zell. Good job. Two windmills and a first aid discard. Good job, Zell. 
I found a piece of rock there. It looks my mate has some carving on it. E E S N P D. Sure. E A S N P D. <laughs> now what do I do next? That's the question. Let's keep on traveling as I get another follow. Thank you very much. Seems like the same rock I picked up before. What? No, I. Now you're overreacting, game. I need to press the thing. Hey! <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm unmessed up. That was kind of lucky. I was very fortunate. Clutch save, man. That was very good RNG. So now we have to find the Mr. Monkey again and chuck the rock at him again. Oh, start it! You're gonna pay for that! Monkey threw a rock at you and ran. Upon inspecting the rock, it looks man made and has some carving on it. U R H A E O. This must be all of them. U R H A E O. U R H A E O. But that said as well, like, the. Shadow will tell us. And then we'll have to work things out from there. This must be all of them. STSLRM. Oh, so the STLRM come one comes first. Okay. I didn't know that one, there's an order to it. Well, that one comes next as well. This is an order in here. Oh, this is a crazy crest. Oh. I already see a pattern. Yes, NPD. Let's go back to the Shadow Man, see if he puts it in a different order, actually. I already see words, by the way. Literally, there is the word treasure within that combination if you set them up in that exact manner. Do I have to like move everything so it actually like lines up nicely on this kind of stuff? Maybe he'll tell me something different. Alright, this supposed to be all the rocks. So this is what we're looking at here. Are we going backwards? Oh yeah, we are. There we go. So starting from the T on the S. It reads, Treasure Mordred Plain. Uh, say that. Mordred Lad. Right. I think kind of goes, no. Now my eyes are no more. Yeah. Dread Plain. Oh, yeah, now. <laughs> it's because it's all skewy. Plains. Has oh no it says Mordred plays as treasure from the right. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just reading it a different bit, but yeah, it, it's me like thinking. But it's Mordred plays has treasure backwards. There we go. I wonder what it means. Well, let's go and find. <laughs> oh god! It's just because I was reading it like weirdly, like. So Mordred plays. Where the hell is that? <laughs> It's not there, obviously. So specifically here. This must be Mordred Plains. There we go. So now we could just press anywhere. There are many multicolored rocks with faces all over the place. The red-faced rock tells you angrily the treasures to the north. By the way, that over there, I'm pretty sure, if you look at the top, is the place where... Let's just run over there, actually. Where Laguna was filming that scene. This is where the ruby dragons were, remember? She so can't even revisit here. I'm not sure what for. Let's put it that way. <laughs> to get out on the other side, by the look of it. Where am I now? Tabia. There's actually a cut through to Tabia? I did not know that. <laughs> Well, learn something new every day, right? Didn't even know. Alright, so 
let's go into the middle of the plains. Treasures to the west. Right, there's a gimmick with this as well. And the fact is, is that basically, one, we've got to pinpoint the camera to the north would be a good idea first. We can tell which way is east, west, and north, because I'm pretty sure it'll be compass north. So that way's north. But the gimmick is, is that we actually don't agree with anything. We go the opposite direction to what it said. So it's west, so we go east. Some of just say the opposite of what we mean. Exactly, the blue face whispers. The red faces are angry, though. Some of us just talk nonsense, some of us just repeat the same thing. People call us the Lyrox. People call us the Lyrox. It's north. The white faced rock tells you coldly it's north. So I think I'm supposed to head south. Treasure's so probably in the direction of the North Star, south. And I'm out of the range now. Actually left the region. Maybe that maybe the white ones say correct and the red ones say wrong. <laughs> well, I said there's a gimmick and I can't even get it right. Let's find a red rock. Red rock, red rock, red rock, red rock. Where are you? Okay, so he says the treasure to the west, which means east. And north, so I'm supposed to go southeast of here. So north, so southeast still. Oh god. This is southeast I'm going. East, south, so now northwest. What? So technically, it's in the northeast, northwest, northwest still. Now it's northeast. Now it's northwest. Now it's northeast. Ah, treasure's not here. What's this? Fan three stars. Oh my god! That's all we went for that whole time. GF learns expend times three for one ability, which basically means when you've got triple, you only expend one spell and not three, so you get to do new three spells. But I finally worked it out. The redstones actually had two dialogues, not just one dialogue. And yes, I did have to look that up. Because, yikes, that whole quest line is terrible. And if I ever play through Final Fantasy VIII again, I will never, ever do it. <laughs> but still, it is done. That was the Oval Lake quest that would have been heavily edited for you on the YouTube, so you're lucky. Twitch had to suffer. I had to suffer. We shall never speak of this again, yes. I've had enough. That was hell. So let's clear it up our cleanup. And leave it at that by heading to a certain place. We're going deeper underground. Too much panic in this man. Yikes. Time to get off tilt, play the game normally, and literally go for a kind of a super boss's boss. Because that makes sense to get off tilt, doesn't it? I missed. Ah! Go, I missed. There it is. Found it. And if it wasn't for Ink None, we'd have been screwed for all of that. But there we go, it's done. Right then. Let us start our long walk down. So we return to the Deep Sea Research Center, which I definitely didn't have to check the name of by opening the menu. 
to partake in probably the one of the last things that we have to do pretty much before the story can reach its completion by climbing down this though it didn't go down we're not until we're going down there we go because beating Bahamut opened up a new path for us here we are What's that draw point? You're just all hanging out here, are you? <laughs> dispel has been found. Well, we've got dispel stacked out to maximum. No one actually wants to speak to me, but we are actually underwater now. It's like multiple levels. Is there something at the bottom? Yeah, what the hell is that? You're right. What is that? There's a terminal buried underneath the rubble. Is it still functional? Level energy system. Reserve steam pressure at 20. Energy wise, it is possible to reach the excavation site. Explain the situation. Six level tower connecting to a rune at the bottom of the ocean. Due to low energy, it is difficult to access a path to lower levels. Rotate lower levels by expending energy units efficiently. Six current or six level pillar structure. Current level, level two, three, four, five, and six, and the excavation site. Monitor display. Current reserve steam pressure is 20. Displayed in 20 blocks. Remaining energy displayed on right, 20 out of 20. Report. Energy type, reserve steam pressure. Selecting energy, select a route. Depending on the energy amount, rooms connecting 3 to 5 will change. Do not forget to save an amount for use at the bottom level. So we need to go through multiple levels. There is yellow levels, etc. Which makes no sense. Select energy at next level. Let's see pressure 4. 4 will be used to unlock the door to level 2. Spending 4. And now we're complete. Opening door to level 2. Did that make sense to anyone, by the way? Essentially, we have to keep a certain amount for the bottom. But we have to also make it to the bottom through what is horrendous monsters. Zell doesn't want to speak of it anymore. He does not care. Nor does Renault. Renault didn't give a crap either. So we're essentially entering a room with monsters aplenty. Somehow, no monsters are jumping on me. I don't think I've got encountered none on because we encountered stuff. <laughs> That's weird. Nothing jumped on me. What? This is the encountered guy. <laughs> Nothing's jumped on me yet. There we go. I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing down here. Again, yeah, this has been like 20 years since we've been in. A bomb plus you. Should be able to take you out with Squall. I think Squall might have fire on his weapon. So I'll just do uh, four nines worth of damage or a critical with Zell there. So I'm pretty sure he's got Blizzard on his weapon. Now everyone has a static attack junction, by the way. And the auto to status attack junction is always sleep. Now we could change to other things for various bonuses, but we got some dragon fins there that are required for ultimate weapons after all. But now you can see our ultimate weapons in the middle of the battle. Cactal on luck plus 50%. So I think I'm supposed to actually go to this. No? Nope. Yes! Current of steam pressure. How much re RSP will you use? Only one. It opens the door with just one. Why would you use more? And it changes the room. I love how you can't get through it in other ways. So what's Cactor learning at the moment as well? Now that he's learnt that. GFHP up. Still got defend, kamikaze, initiative, expend 2-1, move HP. He's got all those abilities. Might as well just let him learn his HP ones. Just let him, let him auto learn. It's fine. Room three. As I understand it, the encounter rate is very high here, and we meet these guys. Really? 
really? I wanted to mug him. Guess it saves a little bit of time, yeah. I want to see what I can draw from him as well, because you never know when we get some good spells. Better to mug him, get some curse spikes, than it is to do what we did there. So we'll use another one here. See, Odin appears way too fast. Now, there is this room, however, which I think you can get into if you use more steam power. I think there's some extra rooms you can get into to get more steam power. That bomb. Why is there a bomb? It's a Zell attack. Oh, you've got fire. But we've got meltdown here. However, I have managed to draw all the meltdowns I would ever need. From thankfully that Elmo that I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait a second. Who did I draw that from? Oh, yeah, when I was fighting the blue dragon, there was a monster in that forest that actually had meltdowns too. So I drew 99 meltdowns, or 100 meltdowns for every character. So we could have drawn one of them, but we'll leave it for now. Weirdly enough, this isn't so much a puzzle as you just use one. Level five. And one steam. You can open up like other ways to use more. <laughs> really? The fact that I have to like climb there where you can't just step down onto the steps in a different direction. Now we're in room nine. It's anglerfish going past. One. <laughs> One. That was. Oh, he struck first. Now it's supposed to work. Oh wow, we've got thunder absorbed for most people. That works for me. Yeah, these guys obviously have the dragon stuff as well. I think it's about time I use that ability times four on someone as well. Just to get like an extra buff for say Renoa or something. Better to do that than not. By the way, what do these draw? Baraga Bazaar and double. Hey, what am I doing? Recover. Whoops. There we go. You'll see my room light up and flash when Skull attacks because of the monitor you stats. Fence Junction in my service. Mugs lit from Bama. So we now have two people with Mug if we want to. Da, 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 da. I think we don't want to Mug off. Mm. I don't know if I want to Mug or not coming up. What is Renoa's other ability possibilities? She doesn't have an HP junction, sadly. Definitely upgrade some other things. But if I went, just gave her ability four as well. I mean, he's the guy with pretty much everything. He's got a good set of stats. It's Renoa who will be junctioning. We've junctioned Doom Train to. So she will get round to getting all the extra stuff in the end. Yeah. Maybe we'll give Zell an ability times four on someone. So let's find a Zell ability a Zell guy. Well, Quetzalcoatl. So Shiva, Diablos, Garbuncle. One of those just has to have an amnesia something used on it. And then we can learn the Rosetta Stone on one of them and have times four on someone else. Amnesia Greens, where are you? 
So it was Sheba that was on him, yeah? So what do I want to get rid of here? I mean, see, technically I could get rid of VIT 20 because it's still got VIT 40 and stuff like that. Like, these things don't really matter. Or GFHP, but... Mm. He had Diablos as well, which has Ability 3. We could literally move out Ability 3 for Ability 4. Just give him a little bit of a pumped upgrade. Why not, I guess. And then Zell can now have a fourth ability. So he could have his HP at max. 40% is all he needs. Well, I guess if we're doing 40%, we may as well do 80%. So now he's got his HP at max. It's not a bad idea. Meanwhile, we've opened up something, haven't we? Oh yeah, yeah we did. Oops. I was thinking there should be... Oh, I'm set. Let me take care of this machine here. Come on, Zell. Give it a go. Sure, go for it. They call me the machine when it comes to mechanics. Leave it to me, baby. He's the machine. This must be it. This has to be. This is it, right? <laughs> this ain't it. Yeah, steam coming out everywhere. Oh, okay, just let me think. Yo, this is it. This has to be, right? I never should have asked you. I didn't want to have to resort to this, but... Opening door to excavation site, ocean deposit. See, there you go. So, machine meaning fighting machine. Well, as long as we're in. So the thing here is that Zell actually has a way of opening up without requiring you to use more power. <laughs> he just, oh, I stepped on this now. He just has the touch. So if you bring any other characters combination down in that sense without Zell, you can't do that. But if you bring Zell down, he sorts things out. The thing with Zell as well, I've just got in a random battle, is that he is also one of the technically most powerful characters you can get because of his limit break system. So you can do quite some sick damage. Probably should have hit a little harder than that. Can I just run away from you? I don't necessarily need to fight you. So it basically keeps things going for you quite nicely. Don't have to worry too much. A little bit sad with so many people on big HP and then there's Renoa. Again though, I should have on someone, I should have the ability to get the HP plus on for something else. So you gotta look at it like that. We can get the HP. Amazed I didn't fight too many tri faces. Now, a lot of people wouldn't kill what we are going to face down here because once you do, we can't do certain things to be able to get curse spikes, but that's not the kind of playthrough we're doing, I guess. It's a stupid playthrough full of stupid people. And then there's this save point over here, which is only viewable via viewfind. So there we go. Essentially, if people want to fight these guys over and over, mug them for their curse spikes. Until they get like 100. And then you can change that into something, which then will result in something else. Essentially. But one day, Zell will just stop punching this guy in the face and actually steal from him. There we go. Not hard to kill them, after all. Right, 
thank you for the save point. We're gonna need that. Because you never know. I could just die. Like, for example, I'm pretty sure we probably have something on someone with an HP gaining ability. HP 20. So we have HP 20, but we don't have any higher than that. We might actually be able to straight buy a good HP up, which is the weird thing. There we go, see that? We can just buy a giant's ring. And that'd be 40% experience, 40% uh, extra HP for someone. So again, all I do is find a GF that Renoa has. Probably better to junction from her and find out what she's got. So Quetz, Ifrit, Cerberus, Doom Train, more. Look at, say, Quetzalcoatl, which is our strongest or highest level GF. Literally take away Mag 20 if we wanted to, and then add HP 40. So it's just one of those weird things again. Only person who fears death with 9999 9, 9, HP. Well, you gotta have more HP the better, you know? It also means that we have a, a, a bigger level to be in crisis mode to get limit breaks. So that's another reason of why I'm kind of going about this. Like, a little bit of messing around right now. But you still keep mag 40%, so the 20% is completely useless because you're always going to go above for the, the, the bigger one. So it is a thing. Still got an evade junction to hand out here. So where where where's the HP gone? There it is. So from that we could just go instead of strength bonus right now, we just have HP plus 40%. That'll buff her up a little bit more so she's got some some wiggle room. It's not H it's not bigger HP, that's for sure, but still. Better than nothing, right? So there we go. A little bit of extra power. Level 31 with 6,300 HP. Why not? Probably save again after that. After that modification. But it's interesting that you could just mod GFs to be whatever you want. It's kind of nice, the custom ability. Can I walk down?